the rivers are ours, and it's and we will now be responsible for them. There's no and there's no laws that actually stand behind that. And so when when they started to think about how they claimed these things as the commons, they went all the way back to ancient Roman law with Justinian around who owns shipping channels, who owns waterways, taking that all the way to the Magna Carta and the kind of English legal tradition and the various fights between um, essentially people who had no rights to their lands, um, how they claimed authority for them. So we ended up with this discussion, um, which has come up a number of times, like how do we imagine not just a human commons, which is how the commons is classically thought of, but like a multi-species commons. Um, and, you know, to see this landscape as something that isn't a park, it isn't a recreation site, it isn't nature, but it's kind of like a negotiated multi-species commons. And the important thing about a commons is it sits outside of all of those privatizations, like a park with a set of rules, but it's always um, negotiated by those who are part of it. Like in a commons, you can't take too much of one thing because somebody else will need it. And those are all informal agreements that sort of build up. And how do you have an informal agreement with um, a kingfisher, uh, tomcod, bacteria in a garbage mound? And like to really take that idea seriously, where where does it take you? And it feels like um, the limits right now with this is that they don't have a way of interacting with critters. They have a really strong way of interacting with laws. Um, or that's the sense I got from Bill. Laws and education. And, and the real next step is um, how would you actually negotiate um, deeper? They, He was telling us about how they were working with oysters here as well. I don't know if you guys on the mm -hmm. other boat. Mm -hmm. And, you know, the the negotiation that happened was there's too, mu too much heavy metals and it stops the sequestering of shells. And so they have to actually find different sites that'll work better to get it going first. And then work legally to stop areas of heavy, heavy metal dumping. 